After months of prep, the day is finally here. Today is the day. We're gonna start framing some walls. Everything is starting out great. It's perfect. <laughs> What's perfect? Everything. But these walls are about to get very complicated. Uh, no more cranes. <laughs> Luckily, we're on the same page and totally in sync. Layout is done. All the walls are marked. Layout has not started. Layout hasn't even started. Nothing is marked. Now all we need is a little faith. You think we can get it done? I think so. Hello, Liza. How do you do? Who is out I'll here? Yay! Who is that? I know it's been a long Dada, time. Dada, that's right. And Jason. Good morning. I'm still here. Grayson and see. Aunt Jennifer. You see them? I heard you got a new place. I heard you got a new job. I heard you got a haircut. And it looks real nice. How are things with you? Good. Good morning, everybody. We are waking up to a crisp fall day. I think I can go ahead and say it. It was 44 degrees this morning when we woke up, um, and it's not because it was raining or storming or anything. That's just the temperature in the mornings these days, which is fine. It's a beautiful, bright, sunny day, and I think it's gonna warm up to the low 70s, so we have a big day ahead with some framing. And I think today is the day we're gonna start framing some walls. Do you still love me, Liza? Baby? Please tell me this one. Is this the hallway? Huh? Is this our hallway? We're working on the hallway, baby. Whoa! -ho! I was like, this will be so fast. We'll just run out there and start framing. And then I was like, where do these walls go? And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trent and Grayson ran to BMC this morning and picked up some wood that we need to continue f to start actually framing the walls. But before we can start doing anything, we need to uh, we need to do layout and figure out exactly where some of the interior walls are going to fall. The exterior walls obviously are a lot easier. Uh, the interior walls, though, just as important. Frank dog. Oh. These are some of the interior walls. Um, there's closet, bathroom, this wall kind of boxes in this bedroom, and then that wall there. We have to snap the outside line over here, and then the stairwell, stairs, zone walls. And then we got to build the exterior walls, but we don't have to snap those because they just get built on top of the green plate. Nice. Oh my gosh, look at that hammer. Wow. That's rain. It rained heavily, like another downpour of like monsoon type rain. Uh, and luckily we were actually out of town for a couple days, so we got to miss it, which I appreciate because if we had been here with all that rain, I would have been so stressed the whole time if we were trying to work in it and feeling frustrated that we weren't making any progress in all of the mud and the rain. It's nice to come back and have it be super dry, but we are finding some remnants of the consequences of all that rain. That hammer, it's got some signs of wear. What? It's perfect. <laughs> What's perfect? Everything. Oh, really? No, but our beam is in the exact spot within a 16th of an inch. It's great. It's almost like you planned it that way. Yeah, well, I did, but usually my plans don't work out, so <laughs> I'm happy about this. So you're standing in the hallway. It's a small hallway. Yeah, well, no, I'm standing inside the wall. Oh, the hallway's hallway, really small. small. It's not a hallway. Oh, what is that? There's a door right here, and this just goes into a bedroom. Okay, okay, that's fine. 
bedrooms are small. It's so crazy how when we were designing all the plans, everything felt huge. And we were like, wow, this is going to be enormous. Do we actually want it to be this big? Should we scale back and make it smaller? And we decided since we're building it ourselves and just cutting so many costs doing it that way, we would just make it that size. Uh, but now framing it out and you can see it in real life. It's like, OK, this is a little bit smaller than we expected. I'm glad we didn't go even smaller. 16 foot nine. Absolutely not. No. What did I say? 16 foot nine. <laughs> Thought I heard it sold to up and leave this town. Oh it's my god. 23 God. feet. Well, it's 8 and 15, so it's 23 three quarters. We're going to build it in increments so we don't have to stand anything up with a crane, right? I don't know. The 15 foot wall, you can't build in increments. What? Yeah. All right, Grayson, you're going to stand on Trent's shoulders and oh, you're okay. going to, we're all going to push the wall up together. Uh, no more cranes. <laughs> this wall, we're actually going to do something really cool. And I think it might be considered a party wall. Um, what but does basically, that mean? we're going to build a wall right here that is going to have no studs that touch both sides of the wall. And that makes it so that like no noise and reverberation goes through the sheetrock and transfers like through the studs to the room right here. Hmm. And so it's going to be a little bit different and uh, it's really cool. I'll show you guys while we're building it. But I think this is the wall we're going to start with. It's basically just a big solid. It's actually the strongest wall in the house. It should anyway. be called an anti-party wall then. Well, no, it's called a, called a party wall because then you can have a party and then this party isn't disturbed by your party. <laughs> this is the anti-party side of the party That's wall. Right. This is Allie's side of the party. <laughs> wow. This is Allie's side of the wall. <laughs> Layout is done. All the walls are marked. Layout has not started. Layout hasn't even started. Nothing is marked, but we're going for it. We snapped some lines of where our interior walls are going to go and now we're going to grab our first uh, pieces of lumber and start doing layout. Pretty soon before you know it, Bob will be your uncle. I could not ask for a better day, Trent. You're exactly right. This is amazing. It feels great out here. <laughs> However, it is getting cold. And uh, we woke up this morning, it's about 45 degrees. And that's not to say it's not still like, you know, fall, summer-ish. It's still hot out, like it's 75. If I didn't have a jacket or a like long sleeve shirt on right now, I'd be getting sunburnt. It's hot out here. It's not like cold and crisp, but in the mornings, it's cold and crisp. And each day, it gets colder and colder and colder every morning. And this isn't even like a storm rolling through. This is just like the average weather right now. So pretty soon we're gonna be uh, throwing the jackets and the hoodies on and it's gonna be chilly. Love with Jack Grayson. Dang. Jason's like, do you have anything heavy I can carry? I'm really trying to get a workout today. <laughs> <laughs> My back hurts from standing all day. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who is that boy? <laughs> oh, are you going to close the window? <laughs> See you later. Hey, bye. <laughs> See you later, excavator. Are you having fun? He is. He tried good. to lock me out. Oh, <laughs> excellent. He was laughing his head off. I was like, all of a sudden, they, like, he went running in, and I like turned and I heard the door leaping, and he was, and I came in, and I'm like, Leo! He was, laying on the, no. he was laying on the carpet laughing, like. <laughs> Leo, He knew he was being doing? a turkey. He gets that from his dad, yes, not from me. of course. <laughs> dada. That's dada. Dada. Yeah, that's who, who you get it from. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. This is about to be the first nail of the first wall of the first day. First nail of the first wall of the first day of framing walls, baby! That's pretty exciting. Hopefully we don't mess it up. Yeah, have everybody double check everything. Not, not using ring nails just because of that. <laughs> just these old rusty sons of guns. <laughs> we got a lot of things named rusty.
96. I asked for a bunk of two by sixes for an eight foot wall, which means 92 five eights. And they gave me two by sixes that are eight foot. Hmm. Can it be a little bit higher or is that messing everything else up? Throws everything out. Yeah, it? everything has to tie into this, right? I mean, no, we could build everything four inches taller. The only thing it would really mess up is drywall. The sheets just wouldn't line up perfectly. It just wouldn't be as easy to drywall the walls. Guess what? We're not going to drywall these walls anyway. <laughs> We just put a couple two by sixes up here and nail them to the face of this so that they're like a backer. That's what Kevin always did on the out exterior walls when we were standing them. The studs are all in. The wall is uh, built. It took about 30 seconds. Trent is nailing in a little backboard right now so we can uh, scoot the wall all the way up against where it needs to go. We're about to raise the first wall. Some people like to raise the roof, but I prefer walls. <laughs> You'll have your time with the roof. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. It looks so good. I don't know. It's one of those things where all the experienced contractors right now are gonna be like, oh, you know what? I got some eight foot two by sixes one time. I did the exact same thing that you're doing. And this is gonna be the problem later on that you don't foresee. Mm -hmm. Cause right now I really don't foresee a problem. Basically these two by sixes, I ordered a bunk of two by sixes, which is like an entire pallet full of two by sixes that are for an eight foot wall. And what that means is that these studs should all be cut to 92 and 5 eighths of an inch so that by the time you do your bottom plate and your double top plate, you have exactly 96 inches, you know, give or take like an eighth. And that gives you an eight foot wall height. Hmm. That's what we're going for. And I ordered that and these two by sixes that have been sitting outside <laughs> getting rained on and all kinds of other things are eight feet tall, which means the one, two, three, two by sixes, which is basically like four and a half inches. Uh, that's how much taller it is than an eight foot wall. They're like four and a half inches taller than they should be. Now, will this cause a huge problem? Probably not. It will make drywall a little bit more difficult, but now that we've got a good drywall crew that comes and helps us out, I'm not going to worry too much about it. We're running with it. So if there are any experienced builders out there that have run into this before, what have you done further down the line to help compensate for those extra four and a half inches? I would love to know. Cut all your studs. <laughs> yeah, besides that. <laughs> the whole entire bottom. Yeah. yeah. The problem is, is if we wanted to say, oh no, these all have to be cut down to 92 and five eighths, not just the 33 studs that are in this wall that looks like it's out of a mid-century modern home I know. would all have to be cut down. Every stud for all of our interior walls would have to be cut down. We already have to cut all the studs for the exterior walls, so that's gonna be a pain, but it's gonna be even more of a pain in the butt if we have to do it for all the interior walls. And I'm banking on this happening quickly, so we need to... We're running with it. We are running with it, baby. Okay, so the reason we started with this middle interior wall is so that we could tie in exactly to the right height the exterior wall that's going to attach to it so that in that room it has a ceiling that lines up correctly with itself. So now we're going to start on this back exterior wall, make sure it lines up perfectly with the one we just stood up. Hopefully this goes quickly. Um, it should be pretty simple. It's just a very long wall. And like Trent said, all the studs need to be cut to a certain length uh, in order to make it come out to that right height. I think we can get it done. 
you think we can do this? I think so. This is definitely one of my favorite games with Trent. Mostly because he's very irritated by it every single time. What? Close your eyes and open your mouth and tell me what I put in your mouth. Chocolate peanuts. Doesn't matter what it is. If it's his favorite food in the world, that's his reaction every time. Thank you. <laughs> like a weird art project right now. It's the wooden virgin of Stonehenge. <laughs> yeah, basically. This wall is coming together pretty fast. Um, there's a big window in this room and then there's one more window in this other room that the guys are in right now. Um, and then there needs to be blocking, another top plate, but it's definitely coming together way faster than I was expecting. And it shows some experience. There's a level of expertise here that comes from doing this multiple times. And I'm very happy to say it's starting to pay off. There is something so satisfying that I will never get tired of with standing up walls. It's just so transformative and it also just signifies like the newness and the beauty of building something yourself and creating something and the start of that creation really coming together for the first time. Uh, it's one of my favorite steps in the entire process and today it's just full of them. I'm really excited. These walls are going up so fast. Framing is amazing. I know. It's literally like one of my favorite things ever. One thing I am a little nervous about is basically I still have to backfill back here. I know. And now that we're like building this wall, it's gonna make it Harder. really tight yeah. when I have to come in here with the excavator and start like pulling dirt down and backfilling and reverse like cutting away from the building and like creating drainage back here. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard with these walls in place. Well, before we build this wall any higher, let's get behind the house and the machine. Not today. No, not today. Yeah. yeah. One no, day. That is, that is the plan. One day. <laughs> These guys are flying. This wall looks so good. There's a little bit more blocking and kind of trimming out that needs to happen to finish it up. And Brandon's gonna get started on that. But while he does, our neighbors came over and they're having a bit of a poo problem. Up here, we all have septic tanks. Nobody is connected to like a sewer system. 
Uh, and we are very familiar with what happens when you have an issue with your septic tank. So they're having an issue, they need it dug up, they kind of know where it is, um, but we are gonna head over and help them finish digging it up so that they can fix their problems because anybody that has ever had to deal with septic issues knows it's not fun. <laughs> The problem is they're not exactly sure where it is. They know the general vicinity, and we're just gonna kind of dig in that area and see what we can find. So Trent is coming up behind me with the excavator, which has just been so useful in so many different ways. I'm continuing to be very grateful that we have this machine. marks the spot. Hopefully Trent can find it. house is actually pretty old and so they've done some research with some previous owners to try to figure out where they think the septic tank is the problem is Trent doesn't want to just dig a bunch of holes all over their yard and destroy their yard so he dug where they thought it was nothing unless we're just not digging deep enough but he's dug about three feet um, and I don't think it's there so he's gonna dig in one other spot before deciding maybe this is not the best solution. We can attempt a different way to help them find their tank. Hopefully, hopefully we find it on this try. All right, well, we're close. All right, well, we hit water, which is a good thing, but we're trying to track the source of the water. It definitely smells like a septic tank, so Hopefully the tank is somewhere nearby. Oh, there's more water. That's a lot of water. Okay, so that's the, probably the leach field pipe though. Do you see it? It's like gutter irrigation pipe or like, like lawn drain pipe. And so maybe you can use it for leach field. I, I didn't think so, but there's a good chance that that is the leach field pipe, which would mean we're past the septic tank. So maybe the septic tank's here. Tough stuff. You could say I found the line and broke it, which is what I normally do, but <laughs> usually it happens when you're digging with an excavator around sewer lines and stuff like this. And I, we can't tell if that's the leach field or if it's the sewer line. I, I don't think he would use that pipe for sewer line. Yeah. You, you never know. Um, it may be allowed to use that pipe for leach field. I just don't, I don't know what they allow or what they don't allow, but what I do know is there's a lot of sewage in there and it's coming from that direction, which almost looks like the leach field is going uphill. I know, it doesn't make sense. Which also wouldn't be okay, but who knows? I don't know exactly what's going on here. And who knows how the land has shifted and settled and the slope has changed. Like right. it's been a long time, so I have no idea what's what's happened. Right. Yeah, and what I'm afraid of is I, I, I'm afraid that his septic tank's gonna be like right here in the middle of this. In the road, basically. Yeah, in the middle of his driveway here. Mm-hmm. 
If the septic tank's full, that's one thing, but if the leach fields are holding water like this, that means they're not draining. My opinion is that this prob the, sep the leach field probably needs to be replaced and the tank probably could be pumped, but I bet the leach field being plugged is what's causing the tank to back up. Well, good news and bad news. The good news is we found water, so we know we're close. The bad news is we couldn't find the septic tank. So I think they're gonna scope the line and find the exact coordinates of the tank, and then we'll come back and help them dig it up. We just don't wanna destroy their entire property um, and just dig all over without knowing exactly what we're looking for. But man, I hope we can help them find a resolution soon because it's not fun to deal with septic problems like that. All right, guys, it is the end of another really long, hardworking day. We got a lot done today and we've started framing our walls, Finally. which is like a huge, huge accomplishment. I'm so excited. I feel like things are gonna skyrocket. Like, I feel like I say that every time, but like for real now, it's gonna go so fast. Yeah, in our minds, that's gonna happen. But in reality, <laughs> It might. We're gonna we're gonna have some some hiccups, some mistakes, some things we have to overcome, and it's gonna take longer than we're expecting. So hopefully we can beat the snow. You never know. We'll see. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying this build, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's yeah. video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.